well what I'm going to look at on this is I'm going to try and say uh, some of the best things to have and some of the best things not to have regarding uh, the silvers um, I think I explained God knows when I got these it was it was probably it was last year anyway I've got some foams off um, the float company um, four eights to four twelves but it says the four twelves are, are point twos four twelves in real money is point two five not point two um, point two of a gram would be four elevens or six tens would be closer um, but that's neither neither um, the more I thought about it when you're buying ready-made um, bodies ready-made floats um, they all tend to have a one mil bore and the more I thought about it the more it's going to be wrong um, if if we put an 06 wire for a silverfish float um, so one things up one thing one of the things I've been doing over certainly over the last 12 months on the commercial since I've joined um, Lutworth Angling um, Club is obviously I do a lot of roach fishing um, I've replaced a lot of my wires with a one mil glass um, it makes the float a bit more a bit more robust and it's it's got a sim similar very similar um, properties um, when fishing in the water and that's what I look for personally on a silver fish float not a float that will just sit onto the bristle and just basically up re bites up and down um, you want a float that goes in the water some days you want a float to go in lay and follow everything in other days you want a float to go bosh sit down and then other days you want to hang on to a float and draw everything in there's lots of different variations me personally I don't want a float that one float that does this one float does that and another float that does another so basically when when I'm looking at a roach pattern I'm looking for something that will do everything um, now once you um, it's difficult to explain but I think the possibly the easiest way to explain if I can open one of these bags and uh, get one of these bodies out um, it's, it's no secret I, I don't use foam and and that's it it's not just because I can't make foam floats the reason being is it doesn't suit me and it never they never seem to be right for me but that's just a personal thing there's lots and lots of anglers that swear by foam so you know we just we won't take it into that account generally what I'm, what I look at is that is your modern day glue together float that's that's how it is now personally that is excellent for that type of fishing but it's also you can also get away with it for laying it in and bring it into the float but where I don't think they're very good is is when you want to lay a float in and you want the float to gradually go to follow everything because everything it, it, to me it's just wrong everything's wrong um, but I might be wrong and it, it's just just one of those things me personally the way I've I've always made my own floats and like for cut anglers um, and some of the silverfish anglers that fish the puddles as well is the best way I've accommodated that is is the way I work it is is a 30% or there thereabouts so you will have say 30% stem 30% tip into um, well everybody makes bodies now but obviously I'll make floats differently than bodies um, so 30% in and 30% of balsa at least 30% of balsa so you've got a natural natural buoyancy when when the floats in the water obviously by filling all that void in you haven't because what tends to happen is without that um, obviously I'll make balsa float so without having that balsa in the center when you when you lay that float in the water you've got that natural buoyancy there which then it follows everything through before it goes to the tip and it does it whereas without that generally what tends to happen this is me again this is the way I look at making floats when it's all the way through what tends to happen once it gets to there it can go very quick and it pulls pulls everything back in so if I was fishing a bulk fine not a problem at all so if I was fishing into then that job sorted not a problem at all but if I was fishing really really light rigs 
and you want everything nice and nice and light that's where I think the balance comes in and that's why I, I prefer um, the 30 30 30 if you want to call it um, or there thereabouts um, so as a, the more I've thought about this so the foam what I'm going to do with the foam floats is I'm going to have them carbon I'm going to do them carbon um, and we'll put a plaggy tip because everybody likes plaggy tips it's not what I like um, I'll do them in hollow um, and I'll probably do some 1.2s and fill them to make a solid which is my personal preference um, because they're far more sensitive as well so I'm going to make all those as a if you want an up and down or a bulk pattern um, now the bolsters on the other hand once again because they're drilled all the way through so the way I would make a float myself it's it's slightly different to how I do it but to the way I've thought of getting around this is I was going to go with the one mil glass I might do a few with wires but I don't, I don't think it'll be right but anyway I'll assemble a few with with the glass so assume that assume this is the bolsa so we'll go into 30 percent um sorry um 50 percent and then what I should do I should go with cane one mil cane in the top um which you could you can buy as well from um from the float company as well in one mil. I don't know whether it's one mil, but once I get to um, assemble them, we'll see. You know whether it is a one mil or one point one or one point two, um, and, and then we'll look from that. So that's how I'm going to do it, and that's the way I look at making um, my own floats. It's obviously you struggle a bit because of the the one mil ball. That that's always going to be a problem. It's how you get around it and what you can do and what you can't do. Um, so, do's and don'ts. Ice for a start. There is a place for spring ice, but um, once again, as I've stated, it's a shame I've not got no floats knocking about that I could explain. Um, <coughs> yeah, we can use just use a, yeah, there's a diamond here knocking about. If you've got a spring eye on the top, what tends to happen is when that sits in the water, it will it will always sit up. You can't help that because of the line and everything else. My personal preference is with silvers because most of my fishing is I'm working with a float. Sometimes I'm doing this, sometimes I'm drawing in, like I've explained earlier. So I want a float to do all. If I've got a spring eye on the top, I can't do every. You, you can't do everything. A spring eye is excellent if I'm if I'm fishing like uh, I can really positive with a bulk very close to the hook. So the float's going in. You've bypassed everything. So that's doesn't matter about this because you've gone straight through onto the bristle so you've put it in it's gone in tight it's gone straight onto the bristle and you're just working the droppers so your lines if you kept it tight and ideally if you've got a dropper if you've got a spring on there it keeps everything because as soon as that line is picked up by the wind or anything like that or any natural movement what will happen with that float it will take it off its natural course with the spring but by having the eye set lower down that will naturally go through the water with everything down if it's tight and it just sits nice and it, and it fishes personal choice so I'm not going to do no spring, springs they've gone um, <laughs> these are not for the cut so we can forget about let's have a look uh, yeah there's some 06 tiny tiny eyes we can forget those um, also what we definitely won't be using in my box of tricks way way too big and there's also some here as well that are, i had a while back off um uh, float studio i think it is which they make in house there's no need they're massive they're useless completely waste of space um for what we're trying to achieve on basically we're looking for, looking for a, a float that's going to catch us silvers roaches and things like that um so my ideal choice 99.9 percent .9 of the time is Oh, eights. Um, they're not, not super, super, super strong, um, but because you're making a, a delicate-ish float, we're not making floats for the cut. We're making floats for a puddle, you know. Um, so I think that will be more than adequate. So, like I say, what I'm going to go with, um, I'll do it as I go along, and and then people will see what is. But this is just 
as if I was going to use these myself. So I'm looking from my perspective of what I think's right and what's wrong. Um, you could, to get around this this problem with that bore, if you want to um, use wire stems and everything else. Uh, yeah, th these are some one mil hollows, um, which I've got all these this stuff together to do to do this video. Um, and the idea was was to do our lows and wires and and the more I thought about it it just I don't think it's going to be right so so I'll probably do that another time but if you wanted to the ideal scenario is um, everything's bloody too hard to get out open the bags and whatnot I didn't get an A level at that at school that's for sure let's have a look can we get in yeah, we've got it now. All right. So, once again, I'll, I'll talk about wire as well if you are thinking of going this way. There is no place at all for 06 wire. It is a complete, utter waste of space where um, a silverfish float is being used. So, that's supposedly got an 06 bore. That's, that's 05 wire. This is um, 06 carbon, so if it's 06, hopefully this will go in. Yeah, that'll go in. So the other way you can do it, you should push through these, yeah. So we can push that through, it gives you an idea. So what you've got is 06 carbon and a one mil uh, hollow tip. The 0.5 wire will work exactly, exactly the same. So. What you can do, if you push that all the way through, God, these are a bit, drilled a bit tight. Right, so what you've actually done now is, is you've created, you've changed that bore from one mil to 0.5. So you've got the option then if you, if you want to do it that way, and you can go through all the way through. Could, you know just trim those off and trim those off um, and you can paint these up dip them do whatever whatever you're gonna do um, that would actually make a quite reasonable even a blood worm float because the blood worm fishing the worm don't make make that much difference um, going through so that's an alternative um, to getting that that through and then if you wanted to stick another trim those back obviously then if you wanted to stick Just take that through a bit, and if you wanted to stick a a hollow tip on the top, now it's a bit long, but obviously you trim everything back. Um, so that's that's another way that you'd get round get round doing it that way. It's not my cup of tea. It's not ideal, but you have to make do with what bits of kit you've got. If that makes any sense. Um, so. Um, I'll call it on this one and then I'll make my mind up what I'm going to do and then I'll upload another video and then it'll be like, we'll call it work in progress as you say. So thanks for watching um, until I get a chance to update. Bye for now.